Good morning vlog. Today is Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday. I'm going to be making sourdough crepes for the first time. My starter isn't like super, super active yet, but it really is starting to get that like sourdough starter smell. So it's it's getting there and I think it should be good enough to make crepes. I'm not sure if it's totally ready for bread yet. I might have to mix it up with some other stuff to make a good rising loaf. However, I think it should make the crepes fine. We're gonna have to see. Only fruit that I have right now are bananas. So I'm going to make banana and cream crepes. I'm going to make my own cream. there I'm back in the kitchen for dinner and I'm going to actually start the process of making my first loaf of bread I'm so excited my starter isn't super active still but I'm just so impatient to make my first loaf of bread this is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time so I'm just going to be doing basic preparation tonight the bread will not be ready until probably tomorrow afternoon and we'll get on into it. As far as dinner goes, I probably won't film it just because it's probably just gonna be an easy, um, maybe homemade meat pasta sauce, maybe like a one pot pasta. I might show the, the end result. About a half cup short on flour, which sucks and I'm completely out. I have to run to the store to get more flour so that this can look more like a dough and less of a wet pasty mess. My creation tonight is spaghetti with homemade meat sauce. It's all one pot with freshly grated Parmesan cheese on top.
Good morning vlog. It is Sunday and it's going to snow today, possibly tomorrow. So that's great. I'll try to get some footage of our first snow, but I am going out to the barn today. I didn't actually end up going the other day for Iroh's uh, farrier appointment because it was just so early. I didn't feel great. End up going. He did get his feet done still, but it's looking kind of ominous out there. I mean, I'm going out today with Lily so she can have a lesson on Iro. I need to clean first. This place is a disaster. Like, this is just an example of what the apartment looks like in the morning sometimes. It's just like an absolute disaster. Waiting for the bread to rise a little bit before putting it in the oven. There's always like a crap ton of stuff in here. Camper, clothes, uh, but really Really, 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 really. Open the door for two seconds. And Brian honestly doesn't really do a great job at cleaning, and he'll be the first to admit that. So it kind of just makes things a little bit more difficult for me. He vacuumed and did the laundry, just have to put the clothes away. Just to give you a little bit of a picture, the, this is all of Brian's clothes that he has yet to fold or put away properly over past few weeks. Sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures and he can't use his computer chair until he puts all of his clothes away. I sound angry. I'm not actually really angry, but because it's just something that I've had to get used to. Guys, look, I did it. Oh my gosh. My first loaf of sourdough bread made completely from scratch. Whew, that was a little bit of a process, but I'm really happy it seemed to have worked out. All we have to do now is taste it, but it looks really, really good. Oh, so super duper excited. Look at this thing. It smells divine. It looks so super duper good. There's some holes in there. It is very light and fluffy. Oh, the free rug that I got, this one, that I really, really like, is starting to smell mildewy and moldy because there was a part of it that was exposed to the elements for a little bit, and that's the part that smells. Can't have ferrets in here. I can't have the dog in here right now while I'm working on it. Hopefully I can fix it. If not, it's going to have to be thrown out because I can't have that in my house. Unfortunately, I really, really like this rug, and I already threw out the other one. That's really unfortunate. I wish it was wrapped up a little bit better. Maybe this wouldn't have happened because the rest of the carpet is fine. It's just the part that was exposed for the small amount of time that it was outside. So that really stinks. For today's dinner, I am making a very yummy butternut squash apple soup. I have to use a hand mixer so it doesn't turn out super pureed which Brian actually prefers at, for his soups. And I will be using my homemade sourdough bread along with the soup. There are a million variations of butternut squash soup out there. The one that I like to make is with apple and I put probably a lot more apple than what normally people do. I do like an apple and a half, depending on the size. And I do a little bit of celery, some onion. I do a lot more onion than normal as well because I freaking love onions. <laughs> and uh, some chicken stock, but you could easily do vegetable stock. I cut everything up super small. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna start cooking in olive oil would be the onion and the celery. You can also do carrot if you wanna add that. And peeling the butternut squash is probably the most annoying part, it takes forever. Instead of throwing out the seeds from the squash, I'm going to put them in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit 
for about 15 minutes with some olive oil and some salt and they are so good and they also make a really good topper for the soup at the end. So all day I was experimenting with this carpet to get that moldy mildewy smell out and I think it was just too far gone. The bottom was wet from when it was outside and just got into the padding and it's just like that's not something I want to risk with my animals or myself so I came up with a bit of a silly solution my dad gave me the idea and that was to simply cut off the damaged part of the carpet and do something about it <laughs> because the rest of the carpet was totally fine so what I ended up doing it's a little bit smaller was um, just cutting it it's not very straight so I moved the part that I did cut under the bed so you don't really see it not that it's you know an amazing carpet anyways and we're not going to have it forever so i didn't really care about doing that it was either do that or throw it out so poor iro is so cold out in the rain oh, you're so cold so he's got his little blankie on while we do some fun stuff yes we do some fun stuff with Iro, I honestly haven't been doing too much groundwork lately. Most of the time when I go out, we go for a nice trail ride together. Haven't been doing too much on the ground simply because, I don't know, the weather's been nice. want to take advantage of it before it gets too gross out to where we'll only be able to be doing groundwork kind of do a mix and match of different things. I really need to start going out with one task or behavior or whatever to train because right now it's kind of just a mix of stuff, do what feels best, which is also nice. I just kind of have them follow me around the arena, back up with me, turn with me, just to get his joints moving because that's really the main point of this is to just get his joints moving, get him flowing and a nice little exercise and a break from being out in the pasture. I reward him for being away from me and not in my pocket. You can see he's still very pushy. We started doing a bit of a modified bow, which is just them putting their head between their legs. And he offered it there and I would have rewarded that if I saw that, but uh, that was really cute. But I don't really teach a full bow, especially for a horse like Iroh who does have arthritis in the hind leg. It's just not really probably very comfortable for him. But I do some backing up, mostly kind of helps. And I do this all verbally. As you can see, I don't have any lead rope or ropes or anything to force him one way or another. And I am hopping on. Do keep in mind, uh, riding with a helmet is totally your personal choice. I definitely recommend the majority of people to ride with helmets. And I'm, most of the time I do ride with a helmet, it's just this time I'm in this enclosed area. We're not going to be doing really much, and Iroh is a very, very lazy horse. I don't even think he has the capability of spooking. He spooked before with me, and it was just like a shake of the body, and that was it. He doesn't really run, he doesn't do anything, which, of course, all horses are capable of doing that. So it's really just the personal choice that I made in the moment. So don't replicate it if you're not comfortable. And I'm just kind of walking him around, teaching him how to neck rein, which he has no idea how to do. We did a bit of a trot just to get him moving. And I ended up hopping off, but I do get back on because I want to feel him trot a little bit more. He's been on a supplement for a while and for his joints. So I kind of just want to keep up with how that's going. Here I'm doing that little game again. As you can see, is very pushy to get into my pocket for the treats. That's just something that we work on and it'll get better over time. But I will reward him anytime he looks away and he's out of my bubble. And this just teaches him that he does not get treats for being pushy, for grabbing at my hand or my pocket. With a lot of horses, you don't even probably want them to be doing that if they're biting you. Iroh does not use his teeth or bite, thankfully, so that's not something I have to worry about. Here's where I decided to get on. I did put his halter on with some uh, reins that I made out of the lead rope, just to see how, just to feel how his trot is on top of him. And he's just so stinking cute. We do need to work on just 
approaching the mounting block a little bit better and standing there nicely, but he did really well overall and he actually felt a lot more smooth than normal. I have a really, really pretty sunset right now. I just made some hot cocoa. It's actually my first cocoa of the season. I think I had one earlier this fall, but it wasn't made, you know, at home. So I got my hot cocoa and look at this thing. It is so cute. I found it at just my local garden store and it says, I will steal your heart and everything else. <laughs> Literally the cutest thing ever. My sister spotted it and she was like, you have to buy this. Like obviously I buy everything with ferrets on it for the rest of tonight. I do have to work tomorrow. So this week is a normal work week. I work Tuesdays, Thursday, Friday, maybe take a bath. I don't know. Just chill out for the rest of the night. Good morning. Vietnam. What day is it, Brian? Yeah, I think so. It is Wednesday. What are we doing, Bri, today? Um, making breakfast. Making breakfast. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Going to work. Going to work. You're going to the barn. I'm going to the barn. Let's see what I'm making. Nice. Hi, Robot. Oh no. Oh no. Seeing something I don't like. Did he rip his blanket? I can't even. Oh my god. I just saw the other side of his blanket and it looks like he definitely ripped it in multiple areas. I can't even believe this. He literally wore it for like two days. Oh god. Let's assess this damage. Here he comes. Oh. No! No! Ira, what did you do? Oh no. Okay. Let's check this out. Oh! No! No! This blanket I've had, excuse me, for a long time. It was Alfie's blanket. And he never managed to do this. You guys, if you don't know, blankets are very expensive. This looks like it could be easily mended though looks like a clean cut <sighs> might have grabbed this yeah this is an easy fix too oh thank god but he's probably gonna do it again why he had um he needs a new halter so bad i hate this halter cute yes i am cute he's so cute he's all clean and his legs. We're gonna finish brushing them. I even got through some of his tail. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Whoop. What are you doing back there? What are you doing back there? You can't give me treats from back there. He's so cute. Oh, he wants to go. says it's time for dinner please who's hungry food was a food food 
<laughs> I made some bone broth, started it yesterday, and it's, ooh, looks good so far. So I just need to strain the bones out of it and then let it cool in the fridge and then it should develop a nice thick fat cap on the top, which I will then remove or save for something else and pour the broth into individual containers. I have to feed this guy his dinner. Same with the ferrets. And then what else do I have to do again? Oh, sleep. That's all this guy wants to do. It's crazy, like, he's such a high energy breed, but him, just himself, he is such a couch potato. He loves sleeping on the couch. On Gen's menu for dinner, we have chicken feet, a sprinkle of, I believe this dried basil. On top, we've got, if I can get it out, um, bunch of kidney, a lot of kidney, a little bit of liver, um, some celery, and then a little baby, ah, I just did, a little baby carrots and a little bit of cheese. Ew, that's so gross, I can't believe I just did that. Thank you.